Howdy duty gamer friends, you're probably here because you have a Game Pass subscription and need to know what to play next. And guess what pal, you came to the right place, because we're going to go over some of the best games to play right now on the service. Just the other day during Xbox's Developer Direct, they announced and surprisingly dropped this hyper colorful Saturday morning romp of an action rhythm game. And that isn't the only surprise, it comes from developer Tango Softworks, the studio behind the Evil Within franchise and the recent spooky action game Ghostwire Tokyo. Talk about having range. Hi-Fi Rush is a vibrant step away from the horror stuff that Tango Softworks is usually known for, instead leaning into a bright world with bright humor set to a rock soundtrack that'll have you beating up baddies to the rock and beat. You play as Chai, a wannabe rock star turned corporate experiment who uses his passion for music to slam his way out while taking down corporate bigwigs in the process. And the soundtrack also rules featuring black keys and Nine Inch Nails, just to name a few. All of that is stitched together with a thick line art style that captures the look of an animated cartoon so damn well. It also has a cat, and you can pet that cat. Pretty rock star move, Chai. What could I possibly say about this game? It is Goldeneye. It's the monumental Nintendo 64 classic from 1997, and now it's on a Microsoft console. That's right, it is the definitive first person shooter before Halo, before Call of Duty. This is a game that forged as many friendships as it destroyed. What a nostalgic look back on the many, many, many young gamers that sat in a room together, ate junk food, drank sugary drinks, and karate chopped the shit out of each other. Why did it take 26 years to bring this to consoles today? It's one of the world's greatest mysteries, but that does doesn't matter because it is here. And whether you like it or not, there is no online multiplayer for this one. It is exclusively only local multiplayer. That's right, no more comfortably sitting on your couch with a headset and insulting strangers online. You have to invite someone to your place and then insult them to their face while playing the game, the old fashioned way. This faithfully recreated version features support for dual analog sticks and a 16 by nine aspect ratio that goes up to 4K. These blobby textures have never looked better in glorious blobby 4K. It also, of course, features the entire campaign, including the cheat mode. All hail, big head mode. One of the most beloved and acclaimed JRPG series has finally arrived on Xbox. Never saw that coming. That's right, Persona. It's the series where you play as a teenager tackling mature problems with your ragtag group of friends, going through surreal dungeons, fighting off shadow creatures, and confronting the darker sides of people from within. If you're new to Persona and don't know where to begin, lucky for you, you can basically start wherever you want. Each one features its own unique story and mystery with a new cast of characters. Persona 3 is about the Dark Hour, a period of time in which the city is consumed by a shadowy force where other worldly monsters emerge. Persona 4 surrounds a murder mystery in a small town where the victims are broadcast on television the night before the murder occurs. And Persona 5 focuses around the trials of defeating the distorted and perverse desires that fester in the people around the main character. And despite these often dire and intense obstacles, between dungeons you'll have the chance to do mundane life-like things like going to school and learning and forging relationships and going to the movies or whatever. Some of you may get that in real life already, but how many of you can say you enter a television at midnight and beat up weird shadowy blobby things, huh? You know what? Maybe you don't want to rehash the exhausting years of your high school life. Maybe you want to hunt down giant monsters. Because yeah, the once Nintendo Switch exclusive Monster Hunter Rise is now on Game Pass. This installment in the long running series is a versatile take on the gameplay loop from the originals, putting in an emphasis on mobility and scaling the open world by equipping players with a nifty wire bug, a tool that allows you to zip up walls or to perform cool attacks. It also allows the ability to saddle on monsters and control them to wreak havoc. In traditional Monster Hunter fashion, the game is deep with 14 weapon types to choose from each with their own very distinct approach and will pit you against massive monsters that you can either hunt down completely alone or with pals. The Monster Hunter games can be a steep learning curve for those new to the series, and while Rise is no exception to depth, it can serve as a fresh starting point for new players, as there's many new additions that have changed up the tried and true formula in cool and meaningful ways.
Eastward is a game about a society on the brink of collapse, a concept that is depicted beautifully by the makeshift city the game takes place in, a city that is barely standing up on its own on the foundation of crumbling buildings. The human population is fleeting, and a deadly toxin ravages across the land. And while it sounds absolutely dreadful, Eastward is really quite a charming adventure game filled with levity as you try to escape a society standing on its last leg. The game will have you traveling around, meeting its inhabitants, fending off monsters in the wilderness, solving puzzles, and trudging through dungeons. The dour adventure is juxtaposed with a bright and upbeat soundtrack, and scenarios that add some much-needed humor in the midst of all its misery. Plus, you can beat up stuff with a frying pan and have mystical powers, so that's cool. Now here's a game you didn't know you needed in your life, Potion Craft. That's right, this little charmer has you physically interacting with your tools and ingredients to become a master potion maker. Fulfill your deepest desires to run your own potion shop. Win the hearts of customers with your remarkable concoctions. And, in the process, become a potion making pro. That means picking your own ingredients, collecting all the right stuff, mashing it up, mixing it in a cauldron, heating up the coals, stirring the whole shebang. And, of course, you're running a shop, so you'll need to meet the needs of your clientele. And who knows what they'll be asking for? A healing potion? Poison? A poisonous healing potion? It's your craft, after all. Potion craft. So bottle them up how you see them fit. Make new potions, get weird, get wacky, get magical. I don't care. Be the alchemist of your wildest dreams. So that's that. Hopefully you found something here to fill that void of time in your life. Now, if there's one game on this list that won't only take a ton of time to finish, but might even stimulate some sort of desire to talk and forge bonds with people, there's always Persona, and there's three of them to choose from. Or you can just stick to being a recluse alchemist and making poison, whatever, whatever people want from you. Your choice. As always, I implore you to try and play something you normally wouldn't. What's the harm in just trying something out? Anyways, have fun with all the gaming. Enjoy. Be well. Till next time. See you later.